hello you guys what is up and welcome back to my channel i don't know about you but i am quite the kinder girly i love reading and i've recently kind of picked it back up again and watching those videos on tiktok and instagram of people making fun little kindle decorations adding stickers and even kindle inserts has been something i am loving and i keep watching these videos i keep binging them every single day and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create your own kindle insert that you can either sell or that you can just use for yourself. So all you're gonna need is a Canva account and then access to a printer and we are ready to go. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to create a super simple fun design like this and we are going to have some more fun creating it. If you like videos on cozy vibes, productivity, tech, and lifestyle, this channel is for you. I'm happy to have you here, so definitely like and subscribe. So let's get designing. So the first thing I always do is I look up the Kindle size that I have. So I literally have a Kindle Paperwhite. So I'm just gonna type in what is the size dimensions of the Kindle Paperwhite. And then basically you would repeat this with your Kindle or whatever Kindle you want to create the insert for. So it is showing that it's 6.9 by 4.9. So basically what you're gonna do is take these dimensions and write them down right away because we are going to go into Canva and customize the design with those dimensions. So now that we are on Canva, we are just going to go right here into custom size and we are going to size it with the dimensions that we just looked up. So go into units and you're going to change it to inches and I am going to make the width 4.9, which was what was Googled, and then this one is 6.8 inches. And then we are just going to create a new design, and this is exactly how we are going to want this. So you start with a blank canvas, and you can do whatever you want. Some things I like to do is go into elements, and then I will type in bookish, and I will kind of play around with different elements here. You can use candles, you can use, you know, any fun design that speaks to you. If you're gonna sell it, keep it fun, simple, neutral. A lot of pinks always sell and just simple ones. But if you're using it for yourself, you can add whatever you want that fits your vibe. Another thing I like to do is put patterns. I did this on the last ones that I'll put on the screen. Um, these ones I have on Etsy and I love them, but you can take a pattern and drag it across. And then you can also add little stickers into this to make it your own. You can't just sell it like this but you can add in other elements that kind of customizes it and makes it your own. What I did the last time is what we can do together. So I went into elements and I typed in gingham. I'm just like really into gingham right now. And there's so many fun ones that you can choose from. So you just scroll through until you're happy with one um and then you pick it so you just keep playing around with it until you're happy and you drag one across and then you can have like a little black and white theme for example and i put funky rectangle frame into the elements bar again and all these cute ones like that i was using in my digital product they popped up so i like to do almost like a second layer over top and you can make this one black to match the background or you can do whatever you want. So if I go with black, that's kind of what you have here. So I just kind of sized it how I liked it and it kind of makes it unique and something a bit different. And then you just go ahead and you can add in some text. So um, you can put a fun little bookish saying. I get bookish sayings on Pinterest a lot of the time, but you can just also get them here. So um, I always use buy me books and call me pretty because that's a fun one that I see all the time on Pinterest. And then here you just have fun with picking a font. Um, maybe you want to change up some colors and whatever. Like I'm not loving this black background. So basically you just keep going back until you're happy with it. Like this pink is a lot cuter for me. I really like that tone and I will drag that across and I will put it backwards. So it's at the very back. And then I might change this to like a fun red or something like that. Whatever kind of fits the theme. So it's nice and funky. And then we're gonna do buy me books and call me pretty. I'm just gonna change the font here because I don't love this font. So I'm going to go into here and I am going to 
play with some of the ones I've downloaded from Fontasque and just there you go. Super fun, super simple, and you can turn around now and sell this. Another thing you might wanna do is make the background a bit more transparent just so that the words pop. And I love how that turned out. So yeah, super fun and simple way. You can also add little books in with the elements tab and there you go. So what you do from here, if you are using this for yourself um, or to sell, you're going to download it as a JPEG or a PNG file. I always just go with PNG. It just makes it easy. And then when we click on the element here, you will see that it will pop up like this. So if you want to print this at home, all you're going to do is hit file and print and it is going to size it on the piece of paper exactly how you will cut it out. So it's gonna be like the perfect sizing on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. And then you're gonna print this out. You can put it on whatever paper you want or you can take this to get it printed. And then you can just cut it out and stick it in your Kindle. So when you are done, you will be left with something like this. Super simple and cute. And it's a fun way to decorate your Kindle and have fun while you're reading. And also, if you want to turn around and sell that on Etsy, you can make some passive income just like that. So I hope this video was interesting. I hope it taught you a cute and fun, simple way to create Kindle inserts for your Kindle and happy creating and happy reading.